And there you have it, Jamie's Rock and Soul. Beautiful lamb meat there. Traditional Irish stew. Council cuisine, world tour returns. We had a choice of a lot of countries today. We're on the letter I. Indonesia, Italy, Israel. I was going to do Israel, but I thought if I do two fajitas and some lentil soup, and people are searching up the uh, Israel Hamas conflict, and Jamie's Rock and Soul's there cooking a bloody rat, uh, they might not be happy, so we left that alone. So I've decided we're going to Ireland to make a traditional. Irish stew uh, with traditional ingredients mutton, barley, onion, turnip, leek, parsnip, potatoes, beef stock. So we're going to head to town on our council cuisine budget. I think it's probably going to be £7.50 today. Lamb ain't cheap, but I want to do it the proper way. So, uh, Let's look out for all things Ireland here in Blackpool. Eerily quiet, Jamie's Rock and Soul for this time of day. <laughs> this is Hull Road in Blackpool up to the casino at Coral Island, and I've not seen a soul yet. Here, Council Cuisine Day, we've had at least a little shot of our beautiful coastline. Look at it today, Jamie's Rock and Soul. Might be in for a wet evening. Hello, Ireland over there. My food's coming to you. Pretty carpet. Jamie's Rock and Soul. I'm pretty familiar with this one. It's the way I tell them. I've got an Irish joke there. The way I tell them. Beautiful sight of the starlings murmurating. Flying in perfect formation. A little taste of Ireland right here on the promenade. Jamie's Rock and Soul. Shenanigans. Oh my days, look at that place above it. Okay. Irish bar. Fun bar. Boy, Jamie's Rock and Soul when I bumped into Macmaster and walk on the wild side. Mixing it with the famous. <laughs> oh, Jamie's Rock and Soul. How exciting was that to bump into walk on the wild side and Macmaster filming the uh, murmurating starlings I was just talking about. So, uh, oh. Mixing it with the famous, better get back to the task in hand. We want an Irish stew here at Council Cuisine. And may I just say, we're 192 subscribers strong now. A net mass of 118 over the Christmas period. Thank you so much for tuning in. It's not for the money. <laughs> There's no money in this. So, uh, it's for the food. <laughs> Let's go find this Irish stew. First port of call, let's see if we can get a bit of mutton from this butcher's. Well, Jamie's Rock and Soul, we've got all the ingredients to make our Irish stew, and it came in at a cost of £7.36. Not too shabby, me thinks. Here on Island Day, on Council Cuisine. So it'd be quite exciting meeting these uh, famous YouTubers. But once again, here in Blackpool, it's wet. We're going to get home, we're going to get in that kitchen and make a gorgeous Irish stew that would feed at least six. And the mobility scooter and the bus. The scooter's winning. And there's another Irish bar, Jamie's Rock and Soul in Blackpool, Scruffy Murphy's. Uh, a Green King pub. There you go. Not very Irish music coming out of there though. Another Irish theme bar, Jamie's Rock and Soul, Brannigan's. Right in the middle of town, next to Weatherspoons. Right, we've got Mickey Finns. I think that's an Irish name. Mickey Finns. Mickey Finns, there, sir. A few moments later. And here we go, Jamie's Rock and Soul. Here on Council Cuisine, Island Day. We have leek. We have a swede. We have a parsnip. We have potatoes. We have carrots. And we have two packets of lamb trim, ready to make an Irish stew. In the next shot, it's all gonna be peeled and in saucepans. Vegetables, we've got leeks, carrots, 
Sweet potatoes. And uh, my kids don't like onions, so I'm going to show you a special trick to sneak the onions in. Round the lamb off. Jamie's Rock and Soul. We've got the oven on at 190 degrees. And that's ground off. We'll go to the next step. Jamie's Rock and Soul cooking hack when your children don't like onions. Use the cheese grater. Chop them up really finely. They don't even know. Shh. Authentic Irish taste. A bit of Guinness in there as well for us. Here on Council Cuisine. Highland Day. Parking our onions and our lamb meat. Uh, we're going to cover it in foil now. We're going to parboil the vegetables for 10 minutes and then we're going to add the veggies to the stew. Okay, we've added the potatoes and the parsnips and the leeks now. That's going to go back in the oven at 180 degrees Celsius. Uh, later to be added, we're going to add the carrots and the swedes. We're just going to give them another 10 minutes before we add them. Now we've added the uh, the carrots and the swede. I couldn't get a turnip, but the swede's fine. Uh, that's going to get covered up and put in for about an hour and a half at 175 degrees. And hopefully it'll come out like a perfect, beautiful broth. If you like your stews a bit thicker, you can always add some gravy granules 10 minutes towards the end. But trust me, it'll come out perfect here on Council Cuisine. Oil and day. Well, while we're waiting for our Irish stew to cook, I think I'm going to show you one of the funniest scenes uh, Ireland connected on a comedy show called Catchphrase. When it looks quite rude uh, until all the windows have gone. Yeah, I'll show you. In the bonus bag, it's got to be one. I'm going to wipe the board. The first person with the right answer wins £260. Watch your screens, concentrate. Here we go. Snake also, if you enjoy the content, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, get notifications. Go on, go on, go on. One hour later. And there you have it, Jamie's Rock and Soul. Beautiful lamb meat there. Traditional Irish stew made with all the correct ingredients and Guinness. There's still some leftover, enough for two people. Feeds up to six people for £7.33. Top of the morning to ya. I'm not going to lie to you, Jamie's Rock and Soul. This one's been a hit with the kids and myself. It's cooked. Perfect in two hours. Here on Council Cuisine World Tour. Ireland has been definitely one of my favourites. So we move on to the next Council Cuisine World Tour where we move to the letter J. <laughs> it's traditional till the next time love yous